Good science does not ban opposition. Biblical creation is good science because Christian schools always present the theory of evolution. But evolution is bad science because evolutionists seek to ban the teaching of biblical creation in schools. And again, I can give you some examples from the United Kingdom. Atheist groups have aggressively lobbied the United Kingdom government to ban biblical creation. Here's a quotation from uh, Sir David Attenborough, uh, who said, the teaching of creationism should be banned in science lessons. Notice again this implied message that creationism is not science. It's something different to science. That's a falsehood. Just to make a note here, if Isaac Newton were here today, atheist lobby groups would ban him from going into science lessons because he would talk about his faith in a creator. But if you think this is a worrying trend, look at this quote. Dr. Alice Roberts, a professor of public engagement in science in the UK, has said this recently. New laws are needed to stop private Christian schools teaching creationism alongside evolution in science lessons. That's a bit worrying, isn't it? This could be coming across to the United States as well. You may as well ban Christian schools if you're going to ban uh, the teaching of Genesis in a Christian school. If Isaac Newton was here today, the atheist lobby groups would want to ban him from Christian schools talking about his faith in a creator. I go back to Ambrose uh, Fleming, that great creationist scientist at Cambridge University. He said this, It is disastrous to the ethical development of the young to lead them to believe that men are descended from monkeys. And I agree with him. If you teach children that they've descended from animals, then surely they're going to be tempted to behave like animals. And if Sir Ambrose Fleming were here today, I'm sure he would be appalled at the pressure being applied by the atheist lobby groups on governments to teach evolution in schools. 